this is for the Sargem remote control CGM M3500. Okay, we're going to start by uh, showing you how to open the case of the remote control. You open the case by using a sharp, I can see that knife edge there on the perimeter, just click, click. Click, 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 and snap it off very easily, okay? Don't worry, it, won't, it will not break. And you do it on both sides. And if you do one side here, and here, and here, everything will open, okay? Now, one thing you got to remember also, that to unplug the connector from the PC board once you open it, okay? Just press this down here, it's clip, and it'll be removed. Later on, we'll talk about the color of what wire goes on the other side of the plug here. Maybe the last thing we'll talk about, okay? Remove the five screws from the PC board. There's a PC board on top of this. As you can see, some of the, where the screw go. And just remove them and place them on top of this, okay? In the copper. Very easy. Make sure these uh, areas are clean. If you got dirt in here, it will not make contact. There's all these areas. As you can see, there are three here, three here, that makes six, plus four, makes ten. And you will see that on the other side of the board here, you'll see the other contact which we'll talk about later. Okay? One thing, check off for scratches or broken copper trays. Sometimes some of these boards get dented, hit, cracked, or anything but check for the copper bar tracing as you can see here some of it will scratch off maybe battery acid fall in there and then ate the ate the copper please be careful there okay another thing that's very dangerous these two capacitor you can see they say 50 volts even though you unplug it it still might have a charge of 50 volts both of these 50 volts here and 50 volts here they're very dangerous so be aware of that try to discharge them with a, a screwdriver here when you unplug it or with a resistor so it could di discharge it on both ends you will also have two small little capacitors here and here those are the small microcapacitors in this board I will show you what all these are and what they do, okay? Next. Here, this blue component here, it's an oscillator, a crystal, a resonator, and it's a, a ceramic resonator. It's like that gets fed into this chip here, which I'll tell you next what it is, after I tell you what this is also, okay? This component here that looks like a transistor, these are all transistors here, which I'll tell you later. And this is a special transistor. Its function of this is to accurately resetting the system after detecting voltage at the time of switching power on and instantaneously power off in various CPU system and other logic system. It does a lot of things, depending where you use it. So this has been used on pin number one here. As you can see the little mark there, that's pin number one. And it triggers this chip here. Now what is this chip? Let's go to the next frame. This chip is your 8-bit microcontroller, MCU. Okay? It controls some other things over here and a lot of information data that comes through these wire is fed to the here and it uses that data to show temperatures and a lot of things okay it's like the the brain the, the computer okay next you will see a lot of these uh, about six of them mpn silicon transistors as you can see uh, this number here c3198 you'll find it on the just type it up on google and you'll find more information on which lead is which i think it's cbe or something like that i think the c is in the middle okay so it's b c e and then you can measure the voltages there 
with a continuity tester about 0 .70, 0 0.78 volts and here like 1.77 volt from end to end so you'll see how you test them and you'll see more i'll show you more i'll tell you what these are also okay step at a time you also have about three leds for power on and uh, other other things okay and you see it written in here the on off button okay here's another you got two leds seven segments and three digits as you can see here these right here this is what it controls that chip that we talked about all these contacts very clear remember I told you I was going to talk about the other side with the push button this is where it goes on and here on top of this four here three here and three here there's ten of them if you don't clean this and you got dirt that goes in there the button will not work look for a loose or cold solder joint some of these when you wiggle the component you'll see it moving some do that when you drop the control remote control bang it loosens out you might see some side or loose around here and uh, keep an eye out for that look for cracks again from this side all these lines you test that okay <clears throat> here's another component that you'll see on the board everywhere except for these two I told you they were capacitors the uh, microcapacitors surface capacitors so here various values of resistor some are a thousand some are ten thousand ohms just check them all oh, if one of these is burned out then you can tell that hey it's not going to pass the signal out okay or coming in remember the special component i told you about that triggers this and tell hey you got 4.2 volts going in and or five volts here somebody asked me what's the color of the wire that goes into these uh, remote control these are it number one two four and five one two four and five notice that number three doesn't have no connection okay and you also got tabs here or notches or keys that little thing here from there you count one two three four five and see they're color coded i've been color coded here one is red See it? And it goes sequentially. Boom, boom, boom. Red, white, black, and green. Here. Red, number one. Number two, white. Number three, no connection. Number four, black. And five is green, as you can see there. That's how you can remember it. When you look at this facing towards you, you see one, two, three, four, five. And you know what the colors are. It goes one, two, three, four, one, two, four, five. Forget about the three, okay? connection you should use a continuity meter and you could check that out if one of them is broken that means here it broke off or something it will not make a beep so you go here touch here and then you touch here you touch here and you touch here number two make a beep and then you touch four to number four right here in this slot here so that way you could hear it okay it's okay if you hear one that's not working then you know the line broke or someplace here or over here where it bends so we continue we talk about that talk about that talk about that already talk about this talk about we just talk about that and here on the internet you'll see what i mentioned the TL92, this is the type of case you got, which is this. The emitter, number one. Number two is a collector. Number three is the base, just like we mentioned. B, E, and the N. And see number one, it's over here. See the number one, it's the number one here. It's on the left side of the component. And you see a lot of information. You go to YouTube and just type this number out. Sorry, YouTube, go to uh, Google and type the C3198 and you'll see more information 
if you need more information you got a lot of data there just these are the data sheets for this component okay the temperature everything the current the voltage that it could have in there as you can see some of the capacitor was 60 or 50 volts and some of these handle a certain amount of voltages so you got to be careful okay here's another component okay KIA 7042AP remember that special component here it gives you information on what it does like I typed in there and there's more information that it gives you not just that it does a lot of things and these are a lot of things it does See right here a lot of information it depends on what application you use okay the other component it's right here the 8-bit uh, microcontroller showing you the chip and you can see on these uh, the prices unit price 479 they're, they're really cheap if something burns out just replace it and you have the remote control very simple because this chip just inserts in and you can take it out with a screwdriver in the end here and it comes out make sure the pins are straight and just replace it very easy to do even my grandmother could do it <clears throat> another component that's very similar it's like the three digits okay seven segment LED display you see the microcontroller controls this too so it's used for a lot of things I used to use it for uh, logic circuits remember this blue part that's a ceramic filter that we told you the oscillator okay it's an oscillator and it's got three legs okay remember that and that's what we got see you can see the price 1271 it's very expensive but it's a crystal for crying out loud that's why you see those expensive there's not much i could tell you about this component there's almost nothing inside this remote control instruction on how to use this it's in the back in this case here this section here is for manual this is for automatic and this is this is this is for the uh, external power lights this whole section here that gives you the temperature for the seven segment three digits is here and another one here here's for auto you can do that for 40 minutes or one hour by pressing the buttons there there's the on button for this section here and the off button for this section here okay it's very easy to operate easy to work with make sure no components when you look at the components inside inside here make sure that they're not burned out or you smell you look you smell and you touch just to make sure that nothing is cracked broken or not burned or you see burned around here or some burnt tracing here because there's a short someplace usually the capacitor gets shorted that's what you find the most and you see how this comes out very easily okay you see it it's just inserted in there and it's easy to come out the screwdriver you pop it out slowly and the other side and this side and, and make sure those legs are straight that is all what i have for you and make sure you subscribe so that way I could bring you more videos of uh, the Sarah John. All the information on everything that I could find, okay? Make sure you snap back the connector back in there. This is the writing here. It's not messed up. Remember, this is pin number one where this little mark is at. When you put the pin and the other, another one, make sure you <clears throat> put it in the right way, okay? <clears throat> That's all I could tell you. Here are the other transistor, NPN transistors. One, two, three, four, and two more down there. Not this one, okay? This is different. I think this has got K, D, and G, because the gate, the drain, the source. This one, the most of <clears throat> All right, my friends. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to give me a comment, put a comment there. There's not much you could do here unless you know what you're doing.
how much of these resistors to make sure you got them all. And these these you check check with the dial check dial checker to make sure you got 0 0.78 and uh, one from head to head to end to end is 1.77 something like that. All right. Bye.